why I do this shit. I think they call this um, venting. <laughs> yeah. Look. Oh. Uh. In life, we have a lot of fears, you know, and a lot of fears that we had growing up, you know, are kind of stupid when you really think about them. When I was growing up, one of my biggest fears was spiders. Why? A creature with eight legs crawling towards me, not cool, all right? Um, thunderstorms. Didn't care for thunderstorms either growing up. Why? Big flash of light coming out of nowhere. Making this big sonic boom sound is strong enough, it shakes the room. Not cool. Didn't know what was going on. Scared me as a kid. But you know, the older I get, I realize some of these are naive. Now, thunderstorms, hey, great sleeping weather. And spiders, I just kill them. You know? But fear itself, it consumes so much of our lives, and sometimes I don't know why. You know, I know why, but sometimes I don't. You know, one definition of fear, or one way it's defined, is that it is a dissatisfying emotion induced by a perceived threat. You know, and one of the fears, probably the biggest fear in my life, I and mean, had the biggest impact, was my fear of failure. I am afraid to fail. Why? Because if I can't get it right the first time, I think that I will fail at it numerous times. I don't know. It's so stupid fear a barrier because when I really break down things in my life, I failed so much. Test, track, cross country. I mean I came this close and like one of my what well, was it, my third cross country meet of being the last person. That was that was the only goal I told myself I would not come in last place. Only promise I made myself this going into that year. I said the only thing I guarantee I won't will or won't do, I will not come in last place. Came third to last because I was definitely walking after a while. You know, but I feel failure. It sucks, you know, because I look back at life. Like I said, I failed so much, but it was through these failures that I've had the best lessons of my life. You know, because now I know what not to do. When I'm going at something 100 miles per hour, fall flat on my face, when I get back up, you know, dust my face off, I can see the lesson I learned from doing that, you know. It's quite different than if I go up, you know, to a line, towing a line, and I'm cautious about going over. That cautiousness that's either gonna get me ran over or you know then you got people yelling what are you doing like on the expressway you know if you're going 20 miles an hour trying to merge into the expressway it's not gonna be too successful you know what I'm saying not to say that you need to go 100 miles an hour merging in Chicago that happens but but you you gotta you gotta be into it and the only reason why I turn on this camera to talk about this is because you know I finally graduated from college, I'm 24 years old, and, you know, it's a new phase. I've been anxious to start. I've been so anxious to get out of college. And the first thing college had taught me was my fear of failure. That was the first thing I learned about myself while in college. I guess this is coming full circle right now. And I just had to talk about this because I'm like, I gotta get rid of it. You know? I mean, I have to get rid of it. You know? And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just gotta get rid of it. I feel like I need to let go of that childish thing so I can, you know, move into adulthood. Kind of getting old adulthood. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I just had to get that off, you know. And I figured it's the best time to get over. I had a fear of doing this video just because I wanted this to be right, you know. I don't know what right particularly is. You watch so many videos on YouTube, you like, 
this is a popular video. But hey, figure it's the best time to get over it. Hell, we got a black president, a guy that been lied and killed. I think I can get over my fear of failure. I think I can get over my fear.